Welcome to Contact. We're so glad you joined us today for this first message in our new series, Locked and Loaded. Now, this title might sound startling to some, but it's meant to get your attention. Life is full of challenges, and some of them are dangerous. But God has given us tools and equipped us to face anything that life may bring. Really, this series is about some of the tools that God has given us to help us overcome in our lives. So today's message is titled, Your Calling. Tell us a little bit about what that means, well, calling. When a person knows who they are and what they're supposed to be doing, then it locks them into something and they have a purpose. Right. Yeah. So that's sort of a so little that, That's what hint. G Jesus did. Yeah. Right. You know, that's why he picked his 12 disciples. So they would be in it. So it's kind of like uh, honing your focus on into something that um, you can put, God can put power behind. Yeah. You know, when you've got one focus instead of multi-focus, then that's when the power can go to really push something through. That's so how you that's, blow mountains out of the way. Right. So <laughs> that's what we'll be talking about today. Hang out with us and we'll be right back. Are you eager to grow in your knowledge of the Word of God, but just not sure how to get started? Maybe you have a moderate understanding of biblical principles, but are seeking a more in-depth way to learn. If that's you, then Faith Landmarks Bible Institute is where you want to be. With over 30 courses to choose from, FLBI provides you with multiple levels of biblical teaching, where each lesson readily prepares you to put its principles into practical application. FLBI is a two-year fully accredited Bible school that provides on-site classes as well as year-round online courses. We encourage you to go to flbi.org to view our large selection of courses, register for classes, and much more. On-site registration for the fall trimester begins July 30th. Classes begin August 27th. Experience the Word of God like never before. Enroll in Faith Landmarks Bible Institute today. Ignite your faith with some of today's most influential speakers at Faith Landmarks Ministries Camp Meeting 2023 Body of Light this October 11th through 15th. Find out more at faithlandmarks.org. With beginner and advanced classes available, Faith Landmarks Academy of the Arts can take your God-given talent to the next level. View any of our available classes online by going to faithlandmarks.org and clicking on the FLAA tab. With on-time messages, exciting events, an active children's ministry and youth group, Bible school, and much more, there will always be something for you and your family. Come worship, receive, and fellowship with us every Sunday morning at 8.30 and 10.30 a.m., Sunday evenings at 7 p.m., and Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Want to find out more about us? Visit our website at faithlandmarks.org. We look forward to seeing you here at Faith Landmarks Ministries. God. Okay, Matthew chapter 4, verse 18, it says, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, well, just last week we were there, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Now, we just had the boat up there with the net in the water, okay? And he, meaning Jesus, said unto them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Now, there was no explanation. What in the world does that mean? You know, they didn't ask any questions. Watch this. And straight, they straightway left their nets and followed him. Straightway meaning they immediately dropped what they were doing and followed him. Verse 21. And going on from there, he saw two other brethren, uh, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother. So that would be the the uh, Peter, James, and John that you're familiar with, hallelujah, in a, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them, Jesus called them uh, right there uh, while they were working with Zebedee, their dad. And immediately, uh, they immediately left the ship and their father and followed them. 
Now, uh, hallelujah. This is uh, an account of Jesus calling people. And, uh, you know, just to call to your attention, they never regretted the decision that they made. And it was like an immediate kind of a thing that came on them. They were compelled to come and follow. I'm certain it was spiritual in nature. Praise the Lord. Okay, so... uh, Statement for you, because of the heavy commitment required, Jesus wanted to make certain that his disciples were locked in to the kingdom. Now, we're, we're kind of at a juncture like that in the body of Christ today. It's a remaking, if you will, or, or a realignment of people's thinking so that commitment becomes a major part of what God is talking about. Remember, Jesus. there are several instances when Jesus was training disciples that there were uh, individuals of them that had a problem with making a commitment. They wanted to dismiss themselves and go do something else and still be counted in, you know, and Jesus said, no, nah, you know, no. Nah. Hallelujah. Are you out there? So you're living in a time when God is emphasizing commitment. Okay, now also so in our series, Locked In, so we're we're talking about locked into the kingdom with with, uh, commitment, praise the Lord, but then also loaded, so uh, he's talking about power. Now, after these events, when Jesus had called his disciples, then what he began to do was he he personally transferred power to them that they would go out in his name. And that power was the basis upon which they were able to reach people. So they were locked in. You know, I I can plainly see they wouldn't have gotten the power if they had not first made a commitment. Because, of course, many of them walked away uh, from the the point of commitment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the other side of the thing about the commitment rather than, uh, you know, taking it all like as some sort of a heavy thing that that people have to accept. Uh, There's another side of it, and as a matter of fact, if you would, I want to show that to you. If you would go with me over to Romans chapter 11, I would appreciate your calling. Hallelujah. There's a side to your calling that you, you you should understand. It's more than just what you're called to do, because the power add to your life is of great benefit. All right, so if you would look at this, uh, Romans chapter 11, very simple verse, verse 29, it says, For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Now you could say, and it does say that, he's not going to take it back, which means that you're held accountable for what he called you to do. Now that includes the Great Commission. Of, of which all of the church has become recipients. We, we've all been called to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, so the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. Uh, side of that also is the fact, and I'm sure that Jesus' disciples experience this, but the side of that is there are others that are not excited about your calling. And so point being is that like it or not, you know, I mean, you don't have to answer people in a crass way, but he didn't call me. And so uh, I didn't get it from the world. And so the world can't take it away from me. Now that's true of every believer. And and it's important for Christians to get on, on the right side of this right now. Praise the Lord, because what he's doing is he's empowering people. Hallelujah. Great things are coming. Greater things are coming. And not to forget, Jesus said, greater works than these shall you do because I go unto my Father. 
So in the same way that the uh, early disciples were empowered, then uh, God is empowering you and I as we speak. Praise the Lord. And uh, well, like, like we said, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. Hallelujah. You don't have to, to uh, sidestep or make any excuses. Hallelujah. You know, your, your relatives, your family, whoever may be involved are not involved in this. It's not their place to decide. Yeah, and, and to point out to you that uh, the fact that uh, the disciples were called away from their father's business and away from their nets, that, that's actually not new for a covenant commitment. Because remember, uh, Abram was uh, also told to leave his father's house to enter into this covenant with uh, God. So that's another way of saying you're relieved of the responsibility, just like the disciples were. You're relieved of the responsibility of bearing up some sort of a traditional um, continuation. You don't have to live up to that. It's not your responsibility. Got quiet in this Christian house. So, so uh, let's take a moment to uh, recognize the fact that he's talking to you. I'm not reading you every scripture in the New Testament about your calling. I, I will read some more to you here momentarily. But you uh, have been called of God from, the, it, it actually became a part of your life when you got saved. So let, let's, let's do this. How many of you are saved? Okay, so that also means that you're called. Go ahead and raise, if you're, if you're saved, then you're called. Period. Yeah, hallelujah. God is good. Okay, so uh, if you would please, I want to take you over to another one. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2. Hallelujah. So your calling is actually twofold. You're called out of darkness, which I'm about to read to you. You're called out of the world, but you're also called into the kingdom. So in the same way that in a king's court, there, you know, the king, and, and I have to tell you this, that the earthly kings uh, have copied the heavenly king. You know, Jesus is, is the one who uh, started all of this. And so he has a court. You've heard about the court of the king. Okay, well, you've been called into the court of the king. Yeah, and, and you know, you're already in the position. All right, so I want to read this to you, First Peter chapter 2. Verse 9, it says, but you, and, and I want to ask you to do this with me. First of all, just take your finger and put it right there and say, he's talking about me. Okay. You are a chosen generation. Yeah, now that kind of flies in the face of today's uh, cultural trappings that someone would claim to be chosen, but yes, you are chosen. And from before the foundation of the world, book of Ephesians tells us, he already appointed you to this chosen position. Hallelujah. So you are, a, yeah, that, that's the reason why it's important to understand that your calling is irrevocable. Because there's all, all of the people of the world, you know, I mean, who do you think you are? You know how that comes from people that you know and family members. And you're, you're just taking too much upon yourself. No, I'm just reading the thing for what it says. He's the one that said all this about me. You are a chosen generation a royal priesthood. Now, you know, in the affairs of men, people are always trying to determine whether or not they're a part of some sort of a line of royalty. Well, uh, you're already in it. Yeah. 
And just, just uh, you should understand, the affairs of men are small and insignificant compared to the court of the king, the real king. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation. The, the body of Christ is already a nation. Got quiet in here all of a sudden. Holy means set apart for his purpose. Holy, uh, gener uh, holy nation, a peculiar people. Now that's not talking about being odd. It's peculiar is more along the lines of specific. It, and then so he, he then tells you what uh, specific things he has planned for you. A peculiar people that you, you should show forth the praises of him that has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Now, if you're having a hard time distinguishing your former life uh, as being in darkness, I would just say that you need to get saved. Because, <laughs> you know, there is no comparison. Notice that phrase, marvelous light. So uh, let, let's do it again. How many of you are saved? Everybody that's been saved has been uh, exposed to the marvelous light. How many of you know what he's talking about? Is there a person in the room that would trade what they have for the world? Yeah, I, I would just pray for you to try to talk you out of it, but I didn't see a single hand. Yeah. You know why? Because you've been exposed to the marvelous light and you know there is nothing on this earth of higher value It doesn't even come close. Isn't that right? Doesn't even come close. Hallelujah. God is good. Okay, I want to read that to you again. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises. So you're peculiar to, you know, he set you apart particularly to show forth the praises of him who has called you. Notice that you're called out of darkness. So part of your calling is being called out so that you can be called in. Called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. So you've been delivered out of the power of darkness, translated into the kingdom of his dear son. I want to show you another one. If you would please go with me over to Ephesians uh, chapter 4. Hallelujah. So I want to uh, show you this power that belongs to you that is going to make your life different. Now, here's a little illustration of it. You know, Peter was a fisherman. But after this thing started coming on him, uh, Book of Acts talks about how he would walk down the streets of Jerusalem and if people that were infirm were brought within shadow's length of him, they would be healed. Remember that? So that means this healing power, such as I have give I thee, that healing power would emanate off of him. Remember that? Okay. Now, not only that, but you know, the devil would get mad at these people and throw them in jail. So Peter actually ended up in jail more than once. Amen. Hallelujah. And so angels come to visit, walk right into the prison, you know, tightest place in town. Nobody even knew they were there because they couldn't be seen. Uh, but, you know, get Peter up on his feet. Start walking him out of the prison. Now, big iron gates. Okay, the, the gates open of their own accord. And so Peter walks right out and he's standing out there on the street going, oh, gee, I have to pinch myself. I'm, I'm, 
uh, you know, I, I didn't know what this was, but I'm free. I'm out of jail. All right, so that's the kind of power we're talking about operating in your life. Hallelujah. Yeah, so that, you know, the enemy comes along and tries to hold you captive to something, particularly something that you might have been involved in in your past. Remember, the blood of Jesus is separating you from your past. And Satan has no access right to throw you in, in uh, his prison. God will get you out. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Wow, it's a great thing that you're with us today on Contact. And as we have said many times in the past, we're really uh, downloading some powerful stuff here. So Jesus wanted to make sure that his disciples were ready for what they were going to deal with. And so he called them. And so every member of the body of Christ is called. Right. And, and so every person watching uh, this broadcast that is a member that has accepted Jesus as their Savior is also called. Right. Well, actually... You're called whether you're a born again Christian or not because God planned your life from before the foundation of the world. That's true. And he gave you a purpose. And that's really the cry of the heart of so many people is, you know, what am I going to do with my life? What is it all about? You know, what, sh what career path should I follow? Uh, what, do, what do I want to do with my life? And the where you find um, your place really is in God's plan for your life. And he doesn't want to keep it from you because if it's God's plan, he's going to let you know about it. So you have to begin to spend time with him, get to know him by reading the Bible, which is God's word and his like his last will and testament. And it's in our instruction manual. Everything we need is here. And then just a heart of faith to listen and follow what he says. And you You'll find yourself in a whole nother place in a very short period of time. So we just want to encourage you with that today and also let you know that right here at Faith Landmarks is a place where you can get involved in serving in community outreaches. You can begin to discover your purpose with any of our activities that happen here at Faith Landmarks with our Finish Line Summer Camp, which is all encompassing for our children, Vacation Bible School, much more coming up. We have a, a full Faith Landmarks Academy, K-5 through the 12th grade, which is an exemplary Christian education that has a whole different approach to it, but it's all built to make your children excel in life. So we encourage you to check that out on our website. You can also become a contact partner with us. Uh, you can see our partnership information there on the website. And also there's a give tab where if you'd like to be a partner, help support our broadcast and our missions outreaches locally and around the world, We'd love for you to join with us. Right. And contact is good ground. So we're also just about to begin our annual uh, cycle for Faith Landmarks Bible Institute. Uh, first of all, the online school is year round. But then we also follow school schedules uh, in all of the places overseas. Right. So all of that is about to start again. And the uh, great thing about FLBI is that it is a fully accredited Bible school. Uh, prices are very affordable for everyone. You can find out all the information that you need and actually enroll and get started on FLBI.org. Uh, or you can simply contact the school office for more information. Now, here's just a, a quick look at some of the things that we have coming up in the near future. At Faith Landmarks Ministries, we are driven towards going into all the world and preaching the gospel. 
While we may not be physically present in all geographical locations, we are fulfilling the Great Commission through the use of our internet resources and by partnering with people and organizations across the globe who share the same zeal and passion to seeing Mark 1615 accomplished. Crew in Moldova and the Athletes in Action program are groups we actively support. In just the past couple of months, your missions giving has helped Athletes in Action proclaim the gospel to nine different countries in Europe. By setting up sport community events, Athletes in Action opens a gateway for the gospel to be received into the hearts and minds of today's youth. This provides a prime opportunity for AIA's workers to share their personal testimonies on a level that everyone listening can relate to. In other sections of Crew Moldova, teams are continuously involved with supporting Ukrainian refugees and newborn believers to ensure the seed of the word stays rooted and grounded in their lives. Just recently, despite obstacles, Crew found a way to send several people on a Bible retreat to Serbia, where they could receive a fresh impartation of the word and be baptized in water. Without your financial support, these life-changing events could not take place. Giving into missions goes further than you could ever imagine, rippling outwards from person to person to bring forth an exponential increase in soul saved. Don't miss your opportunity to be a part of the next breakthrough. Get in on the harvest by investing in missions today. As bodies of light in this darkened world, we stand out, guiding the lost to restoration. And this October, you can be a part of FLM's most empowering event of the year, Camp Meeting 2023 Body of Light, this October 11th through 15th. Gain insight and wisdom from some of today's most influential speakers, including Nancy Dufresne, Jerry Savelle, Keith Moore, Tim Story, Pastor Randy Gilbert, and Perry Stone. If you feel like your light has faded, this is your time. Get ready to be recharged, healed, and driven towards the plans and purposes God has for you. Together, we are a beacon of hope in a world desperate for answers. Be a witness to the revival. Camp Meeting 2023, Body of Light, October 11th through 15th. For more information, go to our website at faithlandmarks.org. Thank you for joining us today and we want to invite you back next week for more of our series locked and loaded and we also want to remind you to join us in person for any of our weekly services and we have upcoming events here at faith landmarks as well you're always welcome but if you can't join us in person you can also stream our events and services online and on demand at faithlandmarks.org and any of our contact broadcasts on contact TV. May God continue to bless each of you and we'll see you next time on Contact.